good morning students i am your nagini ma'am today i am going to discuss about the important numericals in solutions lesson this is the topic from second puc students qualitative properties problem qualitative properties problems now we are going to discuss students we know that qualitative properties relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation of boiling point depression of freezing point and fourth one is osmotic pressure correct so in the four qualitative properties in today's section i am going to discuss about first two qualitative properties problem students okay students now see this pro problem students this is the vapor pressure problem students the vapor pressure of a pure benzene at a certain temperature is this one when 0.5 grams of a non volatile solute is added to 39 grams of benzene molar mass of benzene also given vapor pressure of the solution is given what is the molar mass of a non volatile solute we know that qualitative properties are mainly used to calculate the molar mass of a non volatile solute students okay na so uh, how to find it this, this is the first qualitative property students in this problem first you remember students vapor pressure any vapor pressure uh, word is there in the form in the problem then immediately you have to use this formula students vapor pressure word okay na so here see here vapor pressure there here vapor pressure there if suppose in the problem vapor pressure is there vapor pressure word is there then immediately you can use this formula students p0 minus p1 by p1 not is equal to uh, w1 by m1 into uh, m2 by w2 students clear this one this is the formula students p1 not minus p1 by p1 not is equal to w1 by m1 into m2 by w2 what is p1 not students p1 not is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent vapor pressure of the uh, pure solvent students pure solvent clear vapor pressure of the pure solvent and p1 is equal to vapor pressure of the solution vapor pressure of the solution students clear p1 not not is there that is indicates the pure solvent okay na pure compound and w1 is what students w1 is the weight of the solute clear weight of the solute and w2 is the weight of the solvent w2 is weight of the solvent clear this one weight of the solvent and next m1 m2 m1 is the molar mass of the solute and m2 is the molar mass of the solvent clear m1 is the uh, that molar mass molar mass of the molar mass of the solute students m1 and m2 is the molar mass of the solvent students molar mass of the solvent clear this one solute to solvent clear so p1 not is what students vapor pressure of the pure solvent p1 is equal to vapor pressure of the solution w1 m1 this w1 once this one w1 m1 this are all belongs to solute students this twos m2 w2 two two okay na this belongs to solvent student this ones are belongs to solute this twos are belongs to solvent students that means weight of the solute this is the molecular mass of the solute this is the molar mass of the solvent this is the weight of the solvent clear this students this is completely this term is belongs to uh, solute students okay this one is solvent are you following students this is solute this is the solvent okay uh, now see students here for in the problem vapor pressure what is there so that's why we are using this formula okay now so write that formula students solution P one not minus P one by P one not is equal to W one by M one into M two by W two students. Okay na. So in students uh, here in this problem students just one vapor pressure word is there. That is the clue students. Okay na. Vapor pressure word is there. Immediately you have to use this formula students. Clear this one. Some students they are not at all understanding. So that problem which formula we should use. Okay na ma. So some some students are getting confusion students so for that sake i am discussing this um, clue students okay now in this problem vapor pressure what is there immediately you can use this formula students vapor pressure okay now no need to think about anything students just vapor pressure what is there you have to use this one now see students p1 not vapor pressure of the pure solvent na so how much students p1 not value how much given pure solvent is benzene okay na benzene value how much given students 0.850 
okay na so write here 0 0.850 minus p1 p1 is what students p1 is the vapor pressure of the solution so what is the vapor pressure of the solution students vapor pressure of solution is equal to 0 0.845 bar 0 0.845 bar by again p1 naught p1 naught is what students it is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent correct so that's why again 0 0.850 is equal to w1 weight of the solute how much students weight of the solute 0 0.5 grams okay now by uh, molecular mass of the solute that we have to find it students m1 and m2 is the molar mass of the solvent in bracket given students in the question only that is 78 given and weight of the solvent 0. Here, see, 0 0.5 grams of a solute is added to 39 grams of benzene that means benzene weight how much students 39 grams clear this one benzene weight is 39 grams understanding students so from this one what we can write students m1 is equal to what we can write 0 0.850 minus 0 0.845 yes 0 0.850 minus 0 0.845 then wow, how to write see students here at 0 0.850 minus 0 0.845 how, how much students this one 850 minus 0 0.845 0 0.005 correct 0 0.005 by 0 0.850 clear this one is equal to 0 0.5 by m1 into 78 by 39 78 by 39 this how many times two times now 39 twos are 78 so uh, 0 0.5 into 2 means that is value 1 no? 1 by m1 correct so what we can write students here 0 0.005 uh, by 0 0.850 okay 0 0.850 uh, in equal to 0 0.5 into 2 by m1 correct so what we will get students m1 is equal to how much 0 0.5 into 2 is equal to 1 na? so then how m1 is equal to how much students m1 is equal to 0 0.850 by 0 0.005 correct 0 0.005 so m1 is equal to 0 0.850 by 0 0.005 calculate students this one 0 0.85 0 0.850 divided by divided by 0 0.005 0 0.005 0 0.850 divided by 0 0.005 this value is 170 students so answer is m1 is equal to how much students 170 okay na gram per mole clear students this is the answer understood students this problem see here in the question only vapor pressure is there so the just you remember vapor pressure what is there you have to use this formula students vapor pressure understanding so vapor pressure what is there you have to use this formula understood Nana now see students second model problem uh, here already second problem I wrote students to save the time before only I wrote this problem see here second problem what given students the boiling point of benzene is 353.23 Kelvin this is the elevation of boiling point problem students second second model okay now first model is vapor pressure formula second pressure is second second problem model is boiling point students okay now see here the boiling point so boiling point word is there in the problem okay now so then what formula we should use boiling point formula is there okay so what is the formula students boiling point is there we should use one formula what is that uh, delta tb is equal to kb into w1 by m1 into 1000 by w2 
ओके ना सो दीज आर दिस दिस इज द फार्मुला स्टूडेंट्स डेल्टा टी बी इज ईक्वल टू एलिवेशन ऑफ बॉयलिंग पॉइंट के बी इज द मोलाल डिप्रेशन सॉरी मोलाल एलिवेशन कॉन्स्टेंट एंड डब्ल्यू वन इज द वे दिस इज कंप्लीटली बिलॉग्स टू सोल्यूट स्टूडेंट्स वेट ऑफ दि सोल्यूट मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ दि सोल्यूट दिस इज द मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ दि सॉरी दिस इज द वेट ऑफ दि सॉलवेंट क्लियर दिस वन थाउजेंड बै डब्ल्यू टू स्टूडेंट्स ओके नम दिस इज द बॉयलिंग पॉइंट फार्मुला ओके ना सी स्टूडेंट्स य Boiling point word is there. So in the formula, in the problem, the boiling point of benzene is three fifty three point two three Kelvin when one point eight zero grams of a non volatile solute was dissolved in ninety grams of benzene. The boiling point is raised to three fifty four point one one Kelvin. So here benzene uh, pure solvent boiling point given and the solution boiling point given. Calculate the molar mass of the solute. Okay, now students, so we have to find it. Uh, find M one value. Clear this one. So boiling point word is there. So that's a what formula we should use, students. Boiling point delta T B is equal to K B into W one by M one. Okay, now this formula we should use. So this W one by M one, uh, this is completely belongs to students solute. Okay, now weight of the solute, molecular mass of the solute. Clear this one. Delta T B is what students? Delta T B is equal to uh, that mol. Uh, it is um, elevation of boiling point. Elevation of Boiling point, and next Kb is equal to molal elevation constant. Molal elevation constant, students. And W one is weight of the solute. Weight of the solute, and M one is molar mass of the solute. Molar mass of the solute, students. And next W two is weight of the solvent. Clear weight of the solvent students. Understand me. So this is the weight of the solvent students. Molar mass of the solute and W two is the weight of the solvent. Right. Now boiling point word is there. So it is the formula. Right here uh, formula students solution. Delta T B is equal to K B into W one by M one into thousand by W two. Correct. Delta T B value. So delta T B value, how to find it, students? Delta T B is equal to it is the molar. Um, sorry, delta T B is equal to elevation of boiling point. Elevation of boiling point. How to find it, students? Here boiling point is raised to this one given. Solution boiling point is this one. This is the pure solvent. So what is the delta T B, students? Delta T B is equal to what we have to what we should. Delta T B is equal to T B minus T B not formula. We should use students T B minus T B not. Clear T B is the boiling point of the solution. Clear. So what is T B students? T B is equal to boiling point of the solution. Okay na no? boiling point of the solution and T B not is equal to boiling point of the pure solvent. Clear this one pure solvent. Understand me? So T B minus T B not students here formula delta T B is equal to T B minus T B not. Now see students the boiling point of benzene it is pure solvent T B not value. Three fifty three point two three Kelvin, and T B is the boiling point of the solution. This much given because the C S C students the solute was dissolved in solvent. Then we will get the solution. The boiling point is raised to that means the boiling point of the solution is raised to three fifty four point one one Kelvin. So it is the solution boiling point. This is the solvent boiling point, students. Clear? So delta T B is equal to what we can write, students? T B minus T B not. T B is how much, students? T B is the boiling point of the solution. Solution na solution is three fifty four point one one minus T B not is three fifty three point two three clear three fifty three point two three students understanding ama three fifty three point two three how much students this value three fifty three point two three three fifty four point one one minus three fifty three Point two three clear three fifty three point two three how much students zero point double eight this answer is zero point double eight no no this is the uh, delta T B value so next this value here substitute K B value already given students so here we have to find M one delta T B is equal to zero point eight eight is equal to K B is value K B value two point five three given into W one Weight of the solute. Solute weight. How much given students? One point eight zero. 
correct by m1 molar mass of the solute what is the molar mass of the solute we have to find it m1 into 1000 by w2 what is w2 students weight of the uh, solvent what is the solvent students weight benzene solvent it is the its weight is 90 grams so here 1000 by 90 so from this one what we can write students uh, m1 is equal to what we can write m1 is equal to uh, 2.53 into 1.80 into 1000 by okay into 1000 by uh, 0.88 into 90 clear this student 0.88 into uh, 88 into 90 students clear this one 2.53 into 1.80 into 1000 by 0.88 into the cross multiplication this one this one so how much you will get students you just you remember students in the denominator into is there okay now you have to divide students this numerator completely you have to multiply but in the denominator how many into's are there you have to divide students see here how to calculate this one uh, 2. Point 2.53 okay into 2.53 into 1.80 1.80 again into okay into 1000 okay divided by how much student 0 0.88 here into 90 is there now so we have to do here divided by again divided by 90 you should not do into 90 okay 0 0.88 divided by again divided by 90 understanding so like this you have to do answer is 57.5 this is 57.5 gram per mole understood students this is the answer clear this one how to find it by using calculator how to do this numerator as it is you have to multiply in the denominator into's are there means you have to divide clear 2.53 into 1.80 into 1000 by 0 0.88 divided by 90 clear then you will get this value students okay students thank you students i hope you like this video okay thank you very much students if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe my channel students thank you very much